I said we were in store for a big day yesterday, and guess what? The Power Five went a perfect 5-0. and oh. I also went 2-0 and oh with my client plays. More on that in just a bit, but it is now a tremendous 85-57-5 overall run here on the Power Five over the last month or so. Go ahead, smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners here on Wager Talk TV. Got five more incoming for Friday. Go ahead and comment down below with your thoughts on these selections. Number one, Rays minus 115 on the money line against the Blue Jays. This is a 650 Eastern start down in Tampa. Both these AL East also rans one in shutout fashion yesterday. Toronto beating Texas 4-0. The under in that game was a winner here on the Power 5. While Tampa beat Boston 2-0. What's the big edge for the Rays in tonight's series opener, you ask? Starting pitching. This rotation just had a series for the ages, allowing only five runs on 10 hits in the three games versus the Red Sox. Tonight, it'll be Tyler Alexander on the mound. He's already 2-0 and in three starts versus Toronto this season. Now, I'm well aware that Jose Barrios is a perfect 7-0 and his last seven starts with a 1.65 ERA the last five. But he's only 4-5 and lifetime versus the Rays with a 4.80 ERA and had arguably his worst start of the entire 2024 season against Tampa Bay back on July 23rd. Also, Toronto's bullpen, it's very bad. 28th in ERA, only the White Sox and Rockies are worse. Tampa on the money line to get the Power 5 started. Number two, Tigers plus one and a half on the run line versus Baltimore. Should cost you around minus 135 to get the plus one and a half here. Make sure to shop around for the best price as always. Guys, I had a nice 3% winner with the over in Baltimore's 5-3 win over San Francisco yesterday. Certainly a bit fortunate, though, as the O's walked it off with a two-run homer in the bottom of the ninth. That was just the third time in the last 13 games that Baltimore has scored more than three runs, and it took that final at-bat to do so. If you go back and read my analysis, which you can find at wt.buzz slash bp for yesterday's game, you're going to see there were reasons to expect the O's uh, to maybe break out offensively, but I'm not convinced that what we saw Thursday is going to carry over to today. Remember, uh, before the walk-off home run, all three of their previous runs had come in just one inning, and in fact, I think this is a great spot to take the Tigers. They were off yesterday, and they can come in, steal this game. Guys, Detroit has been one of the hottest teams in all of baseball over the last two weeks. They've won 9 of 11 overall, including taking 2 of 3 from Baltimore last weekend. They just swept Kansas City on the road. As a result, the Tigers are now tied for the last wildcard spot in the American League. They're motivated. Take the hotter team, getting a run and a half head start in this one at 7.05 Eastern. Twins, Red Sox, under nine. Let's play number three. I already went over just how putrid this Red Sox lineup was against the Rays the last three games. Just five runs on 10 hits in three games. And they struck out a total of 33 times. Yesterday, they managed just one hit. Something I've been harping on much of this season is that Boston does not score as many runs at home as they do on the road. So don't go thinking a return to Fenway this weekend will be some sort of magic elixir for this broken offense. They have to go against David Fest on Friday. Since struggling in his first two big league starts, which came before the All-Star break. Oh, by the way, Festa has allowed two runs or fewer in all but two outings. In one of those two, he allowed only three. Seems pretty good to me when looking to bet the under. Meanwhile, this Twins lineup has also been in a bit of a free fall over the last month. I saw this team in person yesterday, and they scored just two runs on three hits in a game that went 10 innings. Outside of the fifth inning, which is when they scored both runs, the Twins managed only one hit the rest of the game. So you got two lineups in poor form here. Should be smooth sailing for Red Sox rookie starter Richard Fitz, who thus far has allowed only two earned runs in 10 and two-thirds big league innings under all the way for Twins Red Sox. Number four, Texas minus 112 over Seattle. Last year's World Series champs. Well, they're relegated to the role of spoiler down the stretch this season. But I like the Rangers tonight against the Mariners team that can't hit anywhere they go. Now, Seattle did hold on to defeat the Yankees yesterday afternoon. However, that was at home, on the road. The problem for the M's, their pitching falls off. Just look at tonight's starter, George Kirby. His ERA goes up more than a full point outside of T-Mobile. And that's a problem because Texas is starting Jacob DeGrom here. Last Friday, DeGrom tossed three and two-thirds shutout innings in his first start in well over a year. That was against this Mariners lineup, which is just 25th in all of baseball and runs per game. 
Good price to back DeGrom and the Rangers here on the money line. That is an 8.05 Eastern start. All right, one more pick to go in today's Power 5. But first, I want to let you know, today only, you can get my first 5% max bet of the college football season for half off at wagertalk.com. This play is for Saturday, and it's my favorite bet so far this college football season. As I pointed out the last couple days, I am currently number one in football at Wager Talk this season, hitting a combined 68% in NFL and college. Wow. In addition to that, I swept my two Thursday selections, cashed a 4% best bet in the Champions League over uh, Leverkusen Feyenoord and the 3% over in MLB Giants Orioles that I mentioned overall. Uh, number one in soccer since April. 68% now. That includes a ridiculous 10-0-1 run in the Premier League. Look out for Premier League se selections this weekend as well. By the way, you can also pick up my entire Sunday card in NFL right now for 50% off. Again, today only, just Friday only. You have until midnight to take advantage of this half-off special at Wager Talk. I was a perfect 4-0 in NFL Week 2. Looking to break out the broom again this week. WT.buzz slash BP is the place to go for all of my winning selections, including that first 5% CFB max bet of the season, which goes Saturday. All right, over eight in Yankees A's. This is how we're going to round out the Power 5, 940 Eastern start. Sorry, no college football for Friday on any of three Friday's games. I don't want to force a college football play on you. There's nothing I really like on this slate. But stay tuned to the Wage Talk YouTube channel because I'm going to be dropping an all-college football edition of the Power 5, as I do every week, for Saturday. That'll drop later today. Make sure you're subscribed uh, to the Wage Talk YouTube channel so you get the instant alert when that drops. But let's talk Yankees A's. Garrett Cole on the mound for the pinstripes. He was absolutely rocked his last time out. Gave up seven runs to that sorry Red Sox lineup we talked about earlier. So the A's should be able to put some runs on the board tonight. As for their starter, JT Jin, he was a little lucky last time out, quite frankly, to only allow three runs in four innings, which isn't that good anyway, because Jin allowed 10 hits. Uh, in those four innings. The Yankees, despite what we saw from them the last two days in Seattle, which is a pitcher's paradise, as we all know, they could definitely score at the best of them. Number one in the American League in runs scored both overall and on the road. Let us now recap today's Power 5 in case you missed anything or forgot anything. Number one, Rays minus 115 over the Blue Jays. Number two, Tigers plus one and a half on the run line versus Baltimore. Number three, Twins, Red Sox under nine. Number four, Texas minus 112 over Seattle. And number five, over eight in Yankees A's. You can, again, feel free to leave any comments and or questions down below. Let me know what you think of those selections. Drop your favorite bets for Friday, whether it's Major League Baseball or college football. I just love hearing from you guys. Let's keep this thing interactive. And again, if you haven't already subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Not only do, do I do the Power 5 daily, but you can catch Mark Zeno and I every Monday through Friday on the morning wager. 5% CFB max bet. 50% off. Today only. Go and get it. WT.buzz slash BP. That's going to do it for Friday's edition of the Power 5. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button if you already haven't done so already. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.